2020 was probably the hardest year of my life. COVID had hit, like sport was stopped for us. We didn't know if the Olympics were gonna happen or not. I received a phone call from my mom um, and she had gotten a call from the foster agency that they were coming to remove DJ from our home. We've had DJ since he was two days old. Um, he's all I've ever known, we're all he's ever known. I just remember falling to the ground and like bursting out in tears. He was gone from us for 44 days total. We weren't allowed to talk to him. He wasn't allowed to communicate with us. But it was both the hardest times of our lives, absolutely devastating. We never wanted something like this to happen again. So we started the adoption process. It's kind of just like a whirlwind from rock bottom to then this elation of getting him back, finalizing his adoption. And then I was starting to prep for the Olympics that were happening, trying to prepare for Tokyo, trying to prepare to be an unforeseen territory being a legal guardian. I'm Desiree Scott, midfielder for the Kansas City Current, and I'm a game changer. Going into Tokyo 2020, you know, we have back-to-back -back bronzes, which is fantastic for our program, for our country, but we wanted to change the color of that medal, and we actually went into that tournament with a belief that we could do it. We got a PK, that final whistle blew, and I just remember like going into a full deep squat. I don't even know how I did it, but I like blacked out. So much excitement, so much emotion. You go there, you say, I'm gonna go and win the Olympics, but to actually accomplish that and to get on the top of a podium, to see your flag rise, hear your anthem, like I can't even explain that high, that emotion of just all that hard work coming to fruition. I've kind of been teetering with retirement, um, after Tokyo, you know, that fuel was reignited. I, I didn't feel like I wanted to stop yet. I feel I still had something in me. And so to continue playing, to give DJ the best quality of life, um, my mom and I made the decision for him to come down here with me to Kansas City. I joke about it that he's my shadow, but he's literally everywhere I go. <laughs> he's at training, he's shagging balls, he's flying the drones. Um, he's fully involved and invested in this team, and the team has just welcomed him with open arms. DJ, I would say, is our everything. <laughs> He's the love of my life. We have done life together since I raised him, changing diapers, and now, you know, we're doing homework, grade seven math, which is very challenging. But yeah, I just, I love having him around, and he is my favorite person, to be honest. But I'm always just like, I love you so much. Like, I literally, he makes my heart so happy, and I can't imagine life without him. The kind of legacy I would love to leave on the game is one that you can be a mom and still play the sport you love you know, through a great support system, through a belief in yourself that you can overcome any challenge, you can still do the sport you love while having a kid, while having your sibling, while taking care of someone else. Um, and I think doing that with a smile on your face and the energy you bring on a day to day. Oh, he ready, turn around, turn around. There he is. I love him unconditionally. At the end of the day, no matter what, I'm gonna have his back. He's gonna be a huge part of my heart, my family, my life. I'm always gonna love him and support him and hope that he's happy and do the best I can for him and that love's just gonna be unconditional forever, never changing.